I tell you what, there, the day is coming. You mark my words. The day is coming when that kind of thing won't be on the news anymore. Because it'll just be so common. common you place, think? You know. yeah. Oh yeah, because they're headed out to the moon or it'll to be like Mars an airplane or you know going around the world. That thing where something. it's like uh, fifty million dollars to go up to the you know into space for a night or whatever. No, no. not fifty million. It'll be more like maybe. A thousand bucks. A thousand? Oh, one day. Maybe in a thousand years. <laughs> Everybody does it. Yeah, everyone's doing it. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, more common tonight, and this one's free. A hard freeze warning from Ogden down through point of the mountain. So if you've got any sensitive vegetation that you haven't brought in yet, tonight will be the night to do that. 20s and uh, low 30s for much of the state this evening. Our next big impact arrives next week. Let's go ahead and fast forward you through middle of next week, Wednesday into Thursday, our next cold storm drops in from the northwest. We see some more areas of rain and snow. So we've got dry conditions for the next couple of days. If you need to do that transition to your winter tires, your snow tires, or buy some better tires for the season, that would probably be a good time to do that as opposed to waiting a few more weeks. Hour by hour into tomorrow morning, you wake up, it'll be about 25 to 35 degrees out, and then we're going to have temperatures rising tomorrow into the 50s for much of the state. St. George, you're close to 70 tomorrow. Saturday, 71, 70 on Sunday, 71 for Halloween. And then there's that cool down with that next chance for rain and snow middle of next week. Next Thursday, only 50 for a high. That is a good 20 degrees cooler than it will be this weekend and Halloween. Here along the Wasatch Front, it's time for your Super 7 Day Forecast. If you've never seen our Super 7 Day Forecast, well, I think this is so cool and you might think it's cool too as we can click on each day and go a little more in depth. So let's go ahead and click on tomorrow and chat more about the hourly forecast, how your Friday is going to play out. Those temperatures will be rising into the 50s starting at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And so you'll have a beautiful day. You'll have good air quality. Saturday will have a cloudy start and then we're going to end up with Sun moving through. We're going to have temps close to 60 on Saturday. Here are your main weather headlines. Cold tonight, hard freeze warnings for the Wasatch Front. Mild weekend and then some very great weather for trick-or-treating on Monday. Let's talk more about that. If your kids are probably asleep right now, you're wondering for their costumes, what do you have to do? Will be chilly. I would certainly recommend grabbing a sweatshirt or something that could go underneath the costume or incorporated in a nice little jacket. By 9 o'clock, you're into the 40s. So sun's going to be going down, obviously, early in the night, about 6 o'clock. And then we're going to head into middle of next week, and we're going to see that chance for rain and snow returning. So that'll start to go up next to Wednesday. Wednesday, scattered storms for Wednesday and Wednesday night. And then we could even see some snow mixing in by next Thursday. Now, as we look at our two-week precipitation outlook, this is for days 8 to 14. So after our seven-day forecast, the 4th of November, through the 10th, we're going to have above average precipitation for that time frame. And for the temperature outlook for that same time frame, below average temperatures for that first full week of November. So we'll keep things cool and wet for you as we start the new month.